143, only two fall outside 10 kilometers. Only two. One is that Gosalia mine somewhere. Uh, it's a bauxite mine, it's not an iron ore mine, and then some other mine which are outside. The remaining 141 mines are operating in the state of Goa for the last five years in express disobedience of the orders of the Supreme Court. Express disobedience of the orders of the Supreme Court. This is the order on 10 kilometers. There is another order which Justice Sharp produces, which we also know about and which we have filed in the court, which says that no mining will take place at all in the safety zone of one kilometer of the line of safety. There too, that order is passed on the 4th of August 2006, 4th of August 2006. It is passed in another matter by the Supreme Court and despite the Goa government knowing it, the Goa government refuses to implement it because they say no, 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 it doesn't apply, it doesn't apply to Goa, it applies here, it applies there. But the forest department again refuses. The forest department says that five companies come to it and say, that you please, we have to renew our forest clearance. And the forest department says we cannot renew your forest clearance. So he says, why? They said that because your leases are within one kilometer. So these five people go to the Supreme Court in 2007. This is Ede, Belinkar, Salgaonkar, and so on. They go to the Supreme Court. And they say, please, our case is different. Goa is different from Rajasthan. The order of one kilometer is passed in Rajasthan. In Goa, the whole population is dependent on mining. And in, as we don't know, you know, we, we, we require these mines to be open. And uh, please allow us to, uh, as an exception. The so Supreme Court is very shana. They know who these people are. So they say that we are sending your application to the National Board of Island. Because they know that in order, they have passed an earlier order saying go to the National Board of Island. So these fellows go to the National Board of Island. National Board of Wildlife, there is a very great division. The non-officials say it cannot be granted. The officials say we will grant it. But even the officials say that we will grant it only for continuing operations in the existing portion of the pit. Where the pit is, you cannot expand, but only that much you can do. You cannot go beyond the, the size of the pit. And all these fellows have gone for expansion of the pit. So ultimately it's a rejection because you are not allowed to go beyond the pit. They go back to the Supreme Court. And you know, at the time when the decision is being taken by the National Board of Wildlife on these five mining leases, the Chief Wildlife Warden of the state, Mr. Shashikumar, goes to Delhi with the mining companies and argues the case of the mining companies before the board. I am not exaggerating because this is recorded in the minutes of the National Board of Wildlife. That the chief wildlife warden of Goa, Dr. Sashi Kumar, says there will be no impact on the wildlife, there will be no impact on the water, there will be no impact on anything. And the government, the officials on the committee use that as an excuse and saying when the chief wildlife warden of the state is saying that there is no impact on the wildlife, how can we prevent granting the clearance? So they can't the clearances. They go back to the Supreme Court because the matter is pending in the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court says yes. They have granted the clearances, but there is a division in the committee. So we will send it to the Forest Advisory Committee because they require forest care. They go to the Forest Advisory Committee and the Forest Advisory Committee rejects all the five points. They say, no, we cannot allow anything within one kilometer. Maybe National Board of Wildlife is given, we are not They close. So all those mines are closed as of that. This is the status in term one kilometer. But because Mr. Digambar Kamath is in command, all the mines which are working in Goa, like Bunda Garcia's mines and so on, they are operating within one kilometer. There is no, there is no closure of uh, one or two of the other Bunda Garcia mines, but these are still operating. Then we have filed a petition finally to get that order in place. Now look at the state of, of NGOs and civil society, that the law of the land of the Supreme Court of India does not move the state of Goa. And that the people have to go to the High Court repeatedly to get the order from the Supreme Court in Goa. But we said, never mind, we will go to the High Court. And we will stay there and we will make a nuisance of ourselves and we will get the Supreme Court orders. And even today now we have finally told High Court, you do whatever you want in an NBWR matter, you pass whatever orders you want. Because we want to take the order to the Supreme Court, but you pass something. 
They are not passing. So one year, one day, there is two petitions, orders have been passed, they will dispose of at least 20. So what do we do? So fortunately, we are thankful that Mr. Justice Jain uh, Misha has come and closed the whole show. Now, I really frankly don't think I need, need to go to the High Court at all anyway. As a matter of fact, I have to tell the High Court, please allow me to, to withdraw all these cases. Because Supreme Court judge has decided that all these are wrong. And I will go now directly to the Supreme Court. If anybody threatens to open his mind here, I am having to I mean, it is, I, I am really, totally, I am using this as a public forum. I know that it is being filmed. I know that tomorrow judges will see it. But I can tell you what happened in the last one year to the High Court in relation to mining is totally is something that has deeply upset petitioners like us. Deeply upset petitioners. When a person goes to a High Court to get a Supreme Court order implemented, the response is instantaneous. Yes. No High Court will say, you take one year. Consider whether we should hear you. That is not the constitution of this country. They have to hear you. They have to say, first of all, how the hell are you operating this mine without when the Supreme Court has said you cannot operate? That's all. They cannot take any other approach. But this has been unfortunately asked. But because now I have also, you know, reached past the age of 60, and I have nothing other worthwhile thing, nothing other worthwhile thing to do besides eating my food and going to sleep. I said I will stay in the Supreme Court, in the High Court chambers and wait for this time. It is not difficult, I can wait forever till I have to go. But I will wait till some order is passed. Because these matters are going to Supreme Court. They are going to Supreme Court. Everything has to go to Supreme Court. Ultimately, the Supreme Court will know that in the state of Goa, its law does not apply. And not only does its law does not apply, when a new chief minister comes, he also refuses to implement the order. Because there was a discussion with the new chief minister in April with all the top brass of the Polish department. And this entire order of the Supreme Court was discussed that way. Despite this, the secretary to the government of Goa issues an order saying that, doesn't say that the Supreme Court order will not be implemented, saying that you have passed this order, you will now recall it. And of course, the functionary at the lower level, he also protects himself by saying that, I am recalling this order because I have been told to do so by my superiors. Well, the superiors will have to face the music. Because of this one order alone, as I said, 141 mines in effect have come to be considered illegal. We, we were saying this now two years ago, that there is not a single mine which is valid in the state of war. These are the reasons now, Shah Commission has gone beyond. Shah Commission has said, not only have they violated all the environment laws, he says they have violated also the uh, mining regulations. He has decided, he has come to a finding that all the practically all the about nearly 92 applications filed by the for renewal, you know, those orders were passed by the government granting those renewals. He says that all those are invalid. They are wrongly passed. He has gone even further. We have taken the point of view that if your mine is come for renewal in 2007, 2007, all the mining cases have come for renewal. They are not being renewed because there is polished on them. And if they have to be renewed 